Hi, and welcome to Mojave 4 Presents. We are going to be doing a series of strange and peculiar creative projects, and you get to witness our process. So today we are doing Pitch Slap. My name is Chris Susi. I'm Drew Hunt. And we are filmmakers, creators, writers, generally oversized human yeah. beings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we oftentimes are referred to by ourselves as squatches. We are. Squatches. We're definitely squatches. Yes. It's a term only we can use, so yeah, you know, it's our be word. careful in the comments. Yeah. Watch it. <laughs> Watch it in the comments. But yeah. today's episode, we'll be doing a pitch slap. And the way that a pitch slap works, or slap in pitches if you like, mm -hmm. is that we will randomly draw actors' names out of a hat, and we will randomly spin the wheel, ha-ha, to get our genre, and then we'll just basically spitball ideas for the kind of movie we would love to see them in. Actually, I lied. This is not this is not going to come to play as much as we love it. We have the tower. Yes. Because there's a lot more genres than make sense. Yeah. We, we came up with 20 genres. Ridiculous amount. We like no, we really have a sheet it's right a sheet here. Of I don't know so, that you can read this from here. I'll in post do something with this probably. Here's hoping post Drew. Post Drew. Um, we might yeah. put these in frames at some point so that yeah. they'll always be visible. Uh, but uh, we'll be rolling a 20-sided dice down the Cthulhu dice tower, uh, and that will give us the genre, 1 through 20, uh, which is exciting. Uh, we like this. And also, uh, shout out to a TikTok that does the Roll for Sandwich. Yes. Great inspiration. Amazing yes. stuff. If you Absolutely. haven't seen Roll for Sandwich, go watch the Roll for Sandwiches. Awesome. Check anyway, back to uh, us. Because that's what this is really all about. <laughs> this is 2023, and we decided that we wanted to get ahead of all the I wish I did. I yes. wish I did more. I wish I had more. I wish I had more content. I wish I had more things. So this year, we are setting out to do an unprecedented amount of stuff. A ridiculous <laughs> amount of stuff. Um, we have several, several different projects uh, coming up. There's a Projects video that will also be coming out to kind of help lay out the groundwork for a bunch of those so you can keep track on the Mojave 4 uh, YouTube channel here and see all the, the fun stuff we've got coming up. And uh, if there's something you like, you know, do the obvious. Like it, share it, thumbs up, do all the things, subscribe, bells. What else do they do on that thing? I don't know. Yeah, They do a lot. All the buttons um, that you can press that are positive. Yes. And if you don't care for it, if something's not working, you can let us know. Just, you know, don't be a jerk about it. Just let us know. It's a good, good rule of thumb. Yeah. Don't be a jerk. Yeah. And we'll either tweak it or maybe we'll abandon that one and come up with a new project to annoy you. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can do. And what you really have to understand, more than anything else, is this is for us. <laughs> we are inviting you to join along, but really this is about getting creative juices flowing, being productive instead of wishing we were productive. Exactly. So let's go ahead and get started with a pitch slap. What do you say? Yes, let's get a pitch say? slap right. started a here. pitch slap started. And the way we do this is we usually go with two celebrities. This hat is full of celebrities. These were names that uh, just kind of came out of my brain as far as like people who appear in movies. Um, and we will add to this. And uh, if you have suggestions, by all means, give us suggestions for actors or people that you'd like to see it. And right now, these are all living actors, but we're not past no, putting no. dead actors in and pitching for, <laughs> for dead actors. Absolutely. So let me uh, shake it up and I'll let Drew draw one. Let's see what we got here. Bum, we bum, bum, bum. Our first name. First is, name. Oh, it's a good start. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. For those of you who can possibly see that, but it does say Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Excellent. And then I shake the hat a little more, shake the hat a little more, and then a little more, and I will reach in and I will grab. Robert Downey Jr.'s co-star in this film is Daniel Craig. Oh. Bond oh. and Iron Man. Oh. Iron Bond. Iron Bond. <laughs> Which sounds like something uh, that would keep your, your dentures in place. <laughs> yes, absolutely. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. All um, right, here we go. There. So now uh, uh, we roll the die. We roll the die. I'll put this tower a little closer here. I'm going to quickly, and I'll do this in order in case you want to follow along and try and figure out. So 1 to 20, here are the, the list of the actual genres we have. Action, silent, comedy, crime. Drama, experimental, fantasy, historical, horror, 
romance, science fiction, thriller, western, found footage, noir detective, superhero, musical, war, mockumentary, and family. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. What will Cthulhu bestow upon us? Oh, mighty Cthulhu. <laughs> 19. 19 is? Mockumentary. A mockumentary. <laughs> Starring. Here we go. Daniel this Craig. This is going to be good. And Robert Downey Jr. Now, the joy of mockumentaries is that you can have any number of things, uh, but if you had celebrities, it almost stands to reason that you would have them be themselves. Right, right. You would actually have Robert Downey Jr. be Robert Downey Jr. and Downey Craig be Daniel, Daniel Craig. Craig. Correct. So I think that the natural mockumentary that I would want to push would be a failed movie that they both wanted ah, to, you know, that they were involved in. That they're involved in. You know, that they were, uh, you know, and that they were very excited about getting, but it has to be a ridiculous movie. It has to be something very strange. You know what? Then let's, let's re-roll for that movie. Oh, so we'll re-roll for the genre. Re-roll for that movie, the movie genre. There we go. That they're trying to make. Two. <laughs> they're trying to make a, a silent, silent film. movie. Brilliant. A documentary starring Robert Downey Jr. and Daniel Craig as themselves. This is genuinely writing itself. It I'm really loving is. everything I'm, about I'm, this I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm having a great time. Okay, so now uh, we're looking at a silent feature, a silent film that the two of them were like very passionate about. Yes, They're like trying to make. We need to redo this. We need to redo this silent movie, and 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 we'll we'll pull out all the stops. So now we have to think about like the silent film era. What could they be? Could they? Well, you know, and Robert Downey Jr. played. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin, yeah, famously, absolutely. you know, did an amazing job as Charlie Chaplin. I wonder if we shouldn't suggest that they were trying to redo, remake, remake one of one Chaplin's, of Chaplin's films. films. Well, it would either have to be Modern Times or City Lights, or I mean, there's obviously Chaplin's got an amazing catalog of films, absolutely. But those are probably the two that most people know and that stand out. And I would even think Modern Times, Modern Times, because makes sense. of all of the complex machinery and stuff that they have in there, the physical gags. There's a lot of room for error in there trying to recreate those gags. Um, and and I can see like in a modern take of them going, oh, we'll just CG this and we're not them arguing with producers and stuff. The big fight, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is maybe they want to do it physically. Yeah, but the producers they want, want to do it, yes. you know, computer generated. And uh, it's like, no, oh, you're missing the point. <laughs> exactly. And to see them, I, I just see a scene with the, the two of them in mocap suits <laughs> in a green or blue wall-to-wall -wall building just standing there just mad. That it's like, why? We could easily build these. They built these things in the 30s. You're well, telling me we can't do that now? Ah, oh, it'll look great, Bob. Well, Don't worry and, about it. And the beauty of, of doing that that bit, because this is a great bit, yeah. is they're in full mocap, they're in a green screen place, <laughs> and then they show you the CGI, and it's just them on a street. Yes, You know, dressed exactly. in regular clothes. Exactly. <laughs> it's like they had mocap them in to a scene that they could have easily have just, just walked, you know, outside walked outside and, outside and done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to make it even funnier would be to follow them out of the studio onto the lot that... Yes, yes. And, uh, I mean, I'm just, I've just i envisioned scenes of uh, them arguing with the producers who are not getting this whole concept. And the producers going, you know, them going, well, we have to do this in black and white. I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, it'll be a good look. I mean, I know this doesn't take place. And, and the, them arguing back is like, but life is color. This should be in color. What? No one's going to go see a black and white movie. <laughs> so so now we to... pull in and say that the director is Michael Bay. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this is a Michael Bay production. This is a Michael Bay production. There's not enough and explosions. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's like, well, um, I, I'm thinking that we rotate the camera 360 around you while the entire city is on fire and exploding. We get a <laughs> helicopter to crash in, and they're like, what? No, no. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think uh, I think this is a good Michael Bay production. It's a good vehicle. Right. Uh, he's stretching. He's yes, stretching. Yes. And uh, and when they tell them that we can't hear the explosions because it's a silent movie. Correct. Um, he loses his mind. He he just starts telling you. Mean I have to have a card that says "boom" right. on it. Boom. Yes. <laughs> and it's in black and white, so you know yes. all of those colors. <laughs> 
just lost. I just see a great arguing argument scene between Robert Downey Jr. and Michael Bay <laughs> over the 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 trying to recreate like <laughs> the sequences in this film. Um, and them arguing over it should be in black and white, it should be in color, it should be CG, this should be practical. I really think this has a really good potential it to it. Have a I great, really think it has some funny It also legs. works in a beautiful uh, satire yes. of our perception of telling stories of, you know, and, and how far we've come from, you know, the fact that there was a time when it was just a camera on sticks. Yes. And all this action was, was happening, highly choreographed, you know, uh, bits that they put together. And it's the, the two ends of the spectrum. You know, they used to be um, a little more improvisational and a little more lively, but all captured right there. They couldn't do, you know, even the the great and amazing roller skate bit. Yes. Was done oh. with a matte painting that was in front of the camera. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, it was, it, they it's, weren't cutting it together. No. They were they were actually being so brilliant. Yeah. Uh, so those innovations that they were doing were physical innovations versus the, you know, it, it, I guess it plays into the AI concept now. Yeah. Um, because that could even be the the uh, the kicker, the, the big... Um, uh, it was all scrapped, and, and an AI computer made it. Made instead. it. Just ended up making the film instead. And and we show a scene from the AI version. I feel and like it's still Robert Downey Jr. and Daniel <laughs> Craig, but the AI has just digitally created them to do. I feel like Daniel Craig and Robert Downey Jr. should have a scene where they're arguing who's playing Chaplin. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I, I like that idea. I also like the idea of Daniel Craig trying out a bunch of different accents mm -hmm. and having to explain that it is still silent. silent. He's like, I know it's a silent movie, but my character still has an accent. Yes. <laughs> oh, all right. I think we've got the concept of this movie down. Right. Robert, you know, now we have to come up with a title. That's right. So now, now it's, it's about... Uh, how do you package it? Yes. Because we've created the story. What 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 title kind of starts to creep into your brain right now? Oh gosh, I don't know. I mean, there's a play. On, there's some plays on modern times itself. You know, absolutely. Um, I even think in my mind something is is on the nose as a little too modern times. Sure. You know, something along more those modern lines. times. Yes. You know, a more modern time. A more modern time. Um, a yeah, moderner time. <laughs> the, the dumb and dumber. dumber -er. <laughs> um, yeah, I think something along those lines uh, would work really great because modern troubles. It's it's just so many the trope of them trying to remake a silent film, but using all this modern technology to do it. You know, Which is a, a just, brilliant allegory. Yes. We, we might want to put that in our hat for silent movie. Yes, for because, an actual movie to make. Because the concept of trying to make a silent movie in modern day comes with this bizarre notion that we are so dependent on our modernity. Yes. You know, all those modern things. So, yeah, I think, uh, I, I think a play on modern times, uh, um, a more modern time, a... Uh, Moderner time. Moderner -er time. <laughs> Sticks in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think something along those lines would be good. I would say... I either like, you know, a more modern time or too modern of time. Too oh, modern too of a time. too modern time. <laughs> oh, yeah, too modern of a time. Too, too modern of a time. There it is. Too modern of a time. Too modern of a time. And now, uh, for people who aren't overly familiar with um, film presentation or, or, or pitching, uh, they, they ask you for a log line. And a log line is basically not a tagline. We'll come up with a tagline, yes. too. A log line is basically as condensed a version of the pitch as you possibly can get. Usually one to two sentences you know, uh, five max, but usually they want to keep it as tight as possible. Yes. So uh, a good log line is, um, you know, Robert Downey Jr. and Daniel Craig set out to remake Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times 
against the <laughs> better <laughs> judgment of uh, producers and studios. That is, I, you can't put it much better than that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but now we need a tagline. Now we need a tagline. Give us a tagline. Let's Throw the tag. Here. <laughs> the tagline for uh, too modern a time. Watching the future destroy the past. Ooh. No, that's, that seems very melodramatic. It does seem awfully <laughs> melodramatic, but, but I think it, it does have um, uh, the, what you're looking for, you know, like uh, um, the most complex, simple movie. You know? Right, yeah. And that kind of, right. uh, you know, the, uh, the hard way. <laughs> If it ain't broke, fix it anyway. Fix it anyway. Or, for all you movie makers out there, if it ain't broke, fix it in post. Ah. Oh, I like that. If it ain't broke, fix it, fix it in post. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> right there. And I tell you what, you, you, there's, I think that literal line and argument can be made in the film constantly is, ah, we'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's like, what do you mean don't worry about it? Yeah. No, no, that's not how that works. So, there you go. There you go. Too Modern of a Time. Too Modern of a Time starring... A, a mockumentary starring Daniel Craig and, and Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. about their efforts to remake Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. Perfect. And that is how you randomly pitch slap. We're out here <laughs> slapping pitches. So, you guys got any uh, ideas for actors, movie genres... Uh, anything along those lines, hit us in the comments. Let us know. Absolutely. And um, keep uh, an eye on this channel because we're going to be doing uh, lots of different things. We've oh, got yes. plugging plot holes. Yes. We've got a short in a week. We've oh, got... boy. That's going <laughs> to be a complicated but fun run. So, you know, we are going to be talking about creation, creative processes. We love movies. We love filmmaking. We love just the idea of storytelling in all of its wonders and glory. So stay tuned.